surely our winner strides onto the 18th green here. Eugenio Chakara. My hero was Seve because I was from my that my family it was from from Pedreña and I grew up my family grew up seeing him and all that but I was too too young when Seve when Seve was playing so for me Sergio was being my idol so always I remember going to watch him Spanish Open Madrid Masters of European Tour back home in Spain in Madrid and watching him when I was 10 12 years old and seeing how good he was and everything and now being able to be with him in his team learning from him every day and what he does for me it's something very unique I mean I have all all great things to say say of Sergio he's an amazing player and he's also an amazing person so I'm very grateful for for our relationship and I'm um, like I said he was my hero growing up because he's from Spain and he was a tremendous player. Yeah, I was lucky now that my family like I said no seven so when, when I was young I think I was seven or eight years old I went with practice he was he's, he was already sick and all that but I went to go to Pedreña and he was practicing over there and he was super nice to me I remember he told me one thing that has been always in my mind. He told me, "You want to be like me. You want to. You need to practice like me." I mean, he was sick. They told him he was gonna die, and he was still going in the gym in the morning and go to the golf range and play holes and all, everything. So I was very unique. Actually, you say about the pictures. I have a couple pictures of when I was seven or eight years old in his in his lock in his house when he has the trophy, the trophies and the green jackets and everything. And I was lucky enough that he he let me grab the up the open championship trophy with him so I have two pictures that really unique and I remind myself every time how lucky I, I have been and how lucky I was to meet one of the best players in the 68. world. Eugenio Chacara set the standard at the top of the leaderboard this is third at the 18th and his score read at 19 under. Yeah I mean I was lucky enough that his brother Vicente was my first golf coach when I was six seven eight or years old so he knew about me so I had a decent relationship with him. I mean, he was sick and all that, but I knew him. We talk, I see him. We had my dad had coffees with him and all that. So we knew each other. So it wasn't that big of a pressure. I remember playing the par threes of Pedreña. That's like nine holes that this, he, he built just to work in his wedges between 50 and 80 yards. So that's all of them with a lot of slope, small greens, small bunkers, just to practice his wedges and playing with him. Something that like still I was really young, seven years old, but I remember each moment of, of it. I remember hitting five woods to the green and him having fun and with him and his brother over there, Vicente. So it was, it was special and it's moments that I will never forget and hope it's sad that he's not here because if he was here, I know he will be proud of how much I work, how much I've been doing to be just a little like him. It's really hard to be as good as he was or, or win as much as he did, but I'm just trying my best and hopefully one day I can, I can, I can win like he did. He was great to me like I start my grandfather knew all the family and I start with them and then Vicente saw me in the in the classes with all the all the boys and girls of my age and he said you're special and I start he, he start coaching me a little and every time I, my family will go to the beach I will stay at the golf course with them and, and yeah they were they were great I feel like all my fundamentals of my golf swing and my golf swing and my ball striking and everything started with with both of them they teach me and give me a, a, advice as much as I can and, and it, it was great I mean I had all, all good things to say we still talk to all the family I still talk to Manolo his, his brother Vicente his brother and we when I go back there home and I have some occasions when we go with my family to the north of Spain Pedreña Santander we still see each other we have dinner we have lunch sometimes they watch me play sometimes not I mean they, they're a little tired about golf they've been growing up of golf all their life so it, since several died it's been more like golf for them become a second thing but I mean they, they're great they help me they give me their advice and it's it's great to have to have them there. Chicago, what a story how well he played yesterday with a 63 to add to his first round 65. Like, like I said he told me you want to be like me he asked me that and I said yes and he said well to be like me you need to practice like me and it's something that I will never forget because like he told me when you're when you think you're you practice enough you didn't practice enough when you think when you're sleeping there's some guys in Australia whatever they're practicing so you golf you're never perfect you're never doing everything great so you always have something to work on and he told me all that and it's something that I've been doing since I was little just work as hard as I can and focus as hard as I can and, and it's been great it's, 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 it's something that I think it changed a lot of my life and my perspective of golf and see things because you can always get better so so I'm very grateful that he told me that because I feel like that helped me a lot in my career and it's going to help me in the future years that was an experience right there he was in an awful lie didn't think through the shot it wasn't even his turn 
gone at that one quickly too, and that is nowhere near dead. He'll have that remaining. They say Bobby. a lot of people say we have right, similar golf swing, and we both play with a lot of passion. I think we both we both enjoy golf a lot. Like I seen him play in a lot of videos, YouTube videos, and everything. But, and how much he loved golf and how much passion he put for the game of golf it was very special. I think you can see that on me as well. Even though if I'm playing good or bad, I still love the game. I still love getting shots. I love the game. I love the game of golf. So I think we have that very similar. Obviously, he was he was amazing. I mean, I'm trying to just be something like him and have still a lot of work to do. But but what how we both love golf is something I think we have very very similar. And how we hit some low shots and how our golf golf swings are they're pretty similar because we we have been coached for from the same guy for a lot of time. Missed out, and after ten playoff holes, a new Asian to a record, we had a champion. Eugenio Chacara, the 23-year-old Spaniard, eventually comes out on top and wins his first international series tournament in this St Andrews Bay Championship. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried, I tried. Obviously, I wasn't as good as him. The story starts because he, he was, he came from a poor family, and they didn't have a lot of things to do. So he was a caddy, and one of the members that he caddied for, he, he thought that three iron was too hard for him, and he didn't want it. So he gave that, I think he gave that to Seve as a present. So he started hitting balls in his house with a three iron, jumping in the golf course with a three iron and going to the beach with a three iron. So that's how, how he started. I think what I read and what people told me, how that's how what he, he started with a three iron. So he had so many, so much, so much talent in his hand. He could do whatever he wanted with the, with the golf shots. And, and like you said, bunker shots with three irons is something unique. I mean, it's really hard. I tried it. I don't have a three iron in the bag, but I tried with a four iron, five iron. I mean, I can put it out of the bunker, but I mean, Give it the height that he did and everything. It was it was unique.